Hello everyone, it's Justine. Today I'm going to make a really fun slimline donut card using the sweet and savory sentiments and the sweet and savory die cut. Now this was, this, this is all part of the Warm Wishes Camper collection and this is coming out in September, no, August, August 14th and I just knew that when I saw the donuts, I had to make a really fun donut card, especially when there's a sentiment that says, you give me a dozen reasons to smile. I had to make a dozen donuts on a card because it just made sense in my head. <laughs> so I'll just talk about the stamps really quickly and the dies, and then we'll jump into the card. So the stamp set has all sorts of really punny, and I mean punny and funny, stamps that go with this theme so there's also a camper so i'm going to make a separate card with the camper but if you have the large die of the month let me grab it from let's see this was from july so this is the food truck this would be so fun to pop like one of these little hot dogs on and make a hot dog truck or a donut truck, a pretzel, a pizza, a soup. I mean, you could do a lot with this. So I have only made one card with this so far, but I think that this really coordinates well with the food truck. But if you did not get the food truck, do not worry. There is a cute little camper that goes with this set. So. I can grab the die. I don't have the card with me right now. So the camper is just cute too. Pull out all the dies, but this is the size of the camper. So if you wanted to see a comparison between the camper size and the truck, it's, I mean, it's not too much larger than the truck or the, than the camper here. So they're about the same size, but that being said, if you just wanted the camper and didn't want all the food stuff, you could totally get just the camper and it comes with a little hitch and a wheel. It's just so adorable. So there's that. Also with the, the camper comes a little like a mug for like hot chocolate. So that kind of goes with the food theme of this as well. So here we go. I'm going to just set these off to the side. And to make my donuts, I used various color paper. A lot of them were the neutral tones, except I pulled in this pink. And um, I just made basically different kinds of donuts, mostly chocolate or like a vanilla kind of thing. And to make this die here would make this piece, this tan piece. And then to make the frosting would use this. And then there's a die here that has little sprinkles. So you could either die cut out sprinkles or if you have from Spellbinders, the sprinkles, these are little embellishments. Um, they are, I think they're made out of clay or something. They're very thin and you could use those on top, which is what I will be using on some of my, car some of the donuts today, or you could use these flat sprinkles as well. Obviously, do not eat them. They are not food. <laughs> Thought I should say that. Um, also, you could add on some like Nouveau drops or um, glossy accents as like a little drizzle on the donut. Or what would be kind of fun is to use these. Now, these are new to th this color is new to Spellbinders. It's part of the color essentials, but they are they say sequins but they're not quite sequins they don't have holes in the center so they're kind of like little buttons well I guess buttons have holes too but they're more of like a disc I would call them a disc or you could use some like pearl embellishments or really just anything to add like the sprinkle or you could just keep it very flat and not do a sprinkle as well so totally up to you so <laughs> just to speak about the die really quickly there's the pretzel and that's kind of stands on its own there's the hot dog buns the hot dog this is kind of like a lettuce die this would be kind of like a peppers or an onion this is the squiggle of sauce that goes on the 
hot dog or this is also could be like a long noodle for the soup if you rounded like a wiggly noodle off to the side this what was this for I think this is part of the toppings either for the soup or the pizza or the hot dog it's kind of like the relish I know some of the puns in here have like relish things so it could be for that there's the pizza and then there's some meat and like a pepperoni little olives the donut we spoke about this is for the soup so it kind of goes together there's little chopsticks for the soup I guess I could say faux too so there's the faux die so with the soup they have you are faux nominal so it goes with the faux soup and thanks faux all you do so have a faux nominal birthday I just I love a pun you guys so yeah <laughs> I thought this die set was so fun so I'm going to be using it quite a bit now I have my donuts arranged how I would like them so I'm gonna start with the donuts in the corners first here these four adhering them on so I'll just slide these off to the side and grab some liquid glue and just start gluing away now for my glue I'm going to use my liquid glitter sorry my liquid barely art glue haven't used our glitter glue in a while although I think it is a really nice glue it just is a little more expensive than the barely art so eh, I reach for this one a little bit more and I've bought multiple bottles of refills on this and it just hasn't let me down so I'm not not gonna switch it okay the nice thing about liquid adhesive is you have a second to kind of wiggle it into place wherever you want it to be, but you don't want to wiggle in too much and going off your project. So, <laughs> the donuts also have kind of like a bite taken out of each of them. So, I'm just going to be hopefully <laughs> trying to remember to be a little mindful about where I put the bite parts and not have them all facing the same direction just because I think that would not look as realistic. Not that anyone would really want a box of donuts that we're all bitten out of, but that's the way it is. All right, now that I have those taken care of, I think I'll just keep moving myself in towards the center. Now, these are pretty tight, so I have to kind of be careful. But I really wanted to make a card with 12 donuts because I think that the dozen reasons to smile would make that would just be such a cute thank you card. And I think that anyone who received that would smile on receiving this card. So I had to make it happen. I think it would be pretty funny. <laughs> To know what your favorite donut is so if you have a favorite donut let me know in the comments and if you're not a donut person this die set does have pizza so I want to know what your favorite topping of pizza is I'll tell you what mine are so for donuts I love like a, a regular donut with um, vanilla frosting and sprinkles I know it's kind of boring but that's really delicious I don't eat them hardly ever but if I was going to pick out a donut I think I would pick out that one or if it's available a maple donut because I think the maple flavor is just so good all right now that I have 10 of them down like so I have these two that are going to rest on top so that will complete my dozen and it will give my sentiment an area to be actually I think I'm going to put my sentiment down just to make sure there's enough room okay so my donuts are gonna go there sentiment there okay it should all be fine I believe that when I put on my sentiment I will be using a bit of foam adhesive just to give it a bit of a dimension all of a sudden I was paranoid that the video was not recording and I was glad that it is. 
I recently did a whole whole card without it recording and I almost cried because <laughs> it was so much die cutting. Probably a bit dramatic, but that is life. All right, I'm just gonna use some foam tape and put the sentiment on. I really liked matting the sentiment on, I think I used three different layers of paper here, just so it was a really strong sentiment to hold up to the bumpiness of the donuts underneath. So let's see, I use pink, black, and white cardstock. And for the sentiment itself, I use the Spellbinders embossing ink and some gold embossing powder to make the sentiment come alive. That should be good. All right, I'm gonna put it on my card base next. Actually, since I'm going to add sprinkles, I better just wait to put it on my card base because I don't want my sprinkles being tipped down. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to add my sprinkles in kind of a strange way. Um, I'm going to use my famous, famous, in my world, this is a famous part of my craft room, <laughs> um, my handy trays, and I'm going to use that to put on my sprinkles. So I'm going to just put on kind of some areas where glue will go on my donuts. And then, probably should have tried this before, did not. I'm going to simply dump them on and whatever sticks, sticks. And we'll see how it turns out. Hooray, it worked. All right, now I just need to do that again for the other pink donuts. I suppose another person who is a bit more um, patient when it comes to craft supplies would put one little sprinkle on at a time with a tweezers. But I, I am a very patient person, but I am not a patient crafter because when I'm crafting, my ideas kind of go <laughs> here and there and everywhere, kind of like a squirrel, and it just doesn't happen. But I am a very patient person in my normal life. I'm a kindergarten teacher, so I kind of have to be part of the job description. Not technically, but you know. All right, now it's time for the rest of the sprinkles. Dump them on. Some might think, oh, some of the sprinkles have glue and they're falling off and they're gonna go back in your jar. Why are you doing that? Like I said, I don't mind. <laughs> oh, the sprinkles just add such a fun little oomph to the card. This is definitely gonna be a bubble mailed card if it gets mailed, maybe even a hand delivered card. Now, I think I want to have some sprinkles scattered around. So, I am going to, actually, I think it needs more sprinkles, says every kid ever. Okay, I'm gonna first put these sprinkles back into my jar off of camera because it's going to be a lot of little hustling and bustling of these little guys, and then I will come right back. That actually was not very loud at all, so I might leave it in. Basically, I just dumped them into my card base, and I'm using my card base as, I don't know, maybe like a, a mock funnel <laughs> to get them back in. Okay, fun. It's not crafting if you're not making a mess, right? <laughs> Alrighty. So I used sprinkles on four donuts, and I don't know if you can kind of see without me tipping, but it was about a fourth of this little bottle. So if you're remaking this card, just a heads up for you. <laughs> also, 
there are um, these sprinkles are on the Spellbinders website so I will link those in the description below so you can easily find them if you are looking for them all right now I would like some color kind of in this corner but that would mean that these two donuts would match and would that be too much color over here? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try it. Now these sprinkles are a little bit bigger than the other more cylinder shaped sprinkles so I might need to be a little more finicky with the sprinkle placement so I might have to pull out my t little tweezers and give it a go but let's just try it <laughs> worst comes to worst they just fall off <laughs> and I'm okay with that because I can figure out how to put them back on all right I love it. <laughs> Perfect. I think I will grab my little tweezers and add just a little bit more, but it's definitely the look that I had in my head, and that's always really fun when that happens. Okay. Tweezer. I love my reverse tweezers. It's my one of my essential craft tools. I, I could not card make without it. Well, maybe I could, it just would not be as neat and orderly. I originally chose pink as my background color for my sentiment, but because I wanted it to match the frosting, but now that I am looking at my card, I'm kind of wishing I did a more neutral tone color because donuts can go to anyone but maybe for next time. These are some thick sprinkles, my goodness. Okay, did I say I love it? I, I love it. <laughs> okay, now it's time to put my sprinkles back into my jar. And what I'm gonna do is leave my card base here on my desk flat to dry and once everything is dry then I will put it onto my card base and then I will put a picture on the video to show you what it looks like once it is finished drying. All right well if you've liked this card let me know in the comments and let me know by hitting the like button. Again, I want to know what your favorite donut flavor is and pizza flavor. Oh, I didn't say my favorite pizza flavor. Okay, don't hate me. It's Hawaiian. <laughs> I love Hawaiian pizza. But um, also, I like meat. So, meat pizza, very yummy. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello, it's me again. I just had to put a little update on the donut card. You guys, I love the sprinkles. <laughs> I think the sprinkles really brought it to life. And they seem to be very secure with that glue. So thanks, Barely Art again. And oh my goodness, they're just, it's so cute. And the glue has dried clear, so it kind of looks like a little bit of a glaze. I love it. Definitely will remake this card. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.